Uh, good afternoon, guys. Um, welcome back to the CYS uh, Boat Show. Um, I'm here today, Josh, from BBI Gin. I'd just like to introduce everybody else. Uh, we have the very well-known Casper, our mixologist here today. We have Tash over in the corner, representing Paul, one of our um, judges of the, gin com uh, of the cocktail competition, sorry, and Miles in the corner from Nanny Key. Uh, so the kind of what we're going to do today, uh, we've had seven entries in total from the votes that I've sent in the cocktails um, using the BBI gin. Uh, obviously, allowed their five ingredients. So everybody sent in their cocktails. They're going to have a nice name, uh, which I'm only going to tell you the name to begin with. We don't want to go too much into the names of the boats because that may give some boats uh, an unfair advantage, as Tash for Miles may know who these people are. So the intention is we're going to make up one of the nice cocktails here in the tall glass or whichever glass is being served in, put it at the front so you can see how the boats wanted the drinks to be presented. We're going to then make two smaller samples for the guys over here in the corner to try out the cocktails. Um, we don't think it's a good idea to have four ones because <laughs> things may get a little wonky. Um, so yeah, we're going to get started. The first cocktail we actually have um, is called the 620 Gin Club. Uh, and the, the intention, that what I'm going to go through actually, sorry, is run through some of the key ingredients of the cocktail. Uh, and also the method, and then Casper's going to make up the cocktail. So the key ingredients of this one, of course, BBI gin. We're going to go for 1.5 ounces of the gin. Um, once we get the gin in, we've also got um, freshly squeezed apple juice, or cloudy apple juice works, or unfortunately for now from this. Um, we also have one ounce of cassis, uh, sparkling water, and with regards to the garnishes, we have some sliced lime, uh, sorry, sliced apple and uh, lime uh, twirls. So the method to make the gin, we're going to add the BVI gin, the apple juice, the lime juice, uh, and some ice to a cocktail shaker, which Casper's already done, he's already ahead of me. Uh, we're going to then shake up the cocktails, uh, sorry, once we have the lime juice ready here. We then go into um, shake up the contents of the cocktail shaker until it's very cold. Get some ice. We're gonna let Casper do his thing. Can't forget the gold cast and the cassis. Are you guys excited and ready over there? Waiting. Can't wait. Waiting. <laughs> yeah. So we got seven of these down. Pick it up. We're then going to pour the, the contents of the shaker into a glass over ice. And so for this glass, we've actually got a kind of tall glass here, tall highball glass. A nice close up there. We've got a fantastic camera crew. Uh, we're then, so once that's poured over that ice, we're just going to add some of the sparkling water to taste. And then we're going to add our garnishes, which is the slices of apple and the twirls of the lime. I hope you guys are all ready to uh, make these at home and replicate what we're doing here. It's going to be a bit of a messy Tuesday, I think. Some nice intricate detail here for the presentation. So as I said, we've tried our best to kind of replicate exactly what's been sent in to us. There may be some kind of alterations throughout just because we, we're basically doing our best with what we have here. Um, and so for instance, some of them may have some smoke in or flames and it may not be a very good idea to be doing that inside. But I'm going to uh, just allow you to know which ones they are as well so we can kind of have, use our imagination a little and, and see and imagine what they should be looking like. Looking very pretty with that apple. And there we have it. So there's our first cocktail. We'll get that up on the front. Yeah. So this is just going to stay throughout now so you can see all the different cocktails that we'll be making throughout the day. Bear in mind that it looks so good. Thank you. And we want to try it with the closer. Thank you. So we'll allow the guys now to kind of have, um, just to be sure you're going to be doing a little uh, judging right now on the scoreboard, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Can we put any squats in? Perfect. So we'll just give the guys a couple of seconds to have a little chat, I guess, or maybe um, put together what their results are. And we're going to get a second cocktail good. ready. That's fun. <laughs> no. <coughs> I'm, I'm very impressed. First one. I, I'm easily impressed with Jim, to be honest. <laughs> so what kind of things are we looking for on the scores over there, guys? What's been asked of you whilst judging the drinks? Uh, we're looking at appearance or presentation, the taste, uh, creativity, and then the key one is use of local ingredients, because I believe that was the main part of the brief, or one of the huge parts of the brief. No, okay. I'm just talking at my, um, <laughs> at my gin, so ignore me. Mate, the key thing was the gin, right, obviously, BBI gin, yeah. yeah. And something delicious. I'm getting thumbs up, so good. <laughs> Okay, and so are we ready for the next cocktail, guys? You had enough time over there? Yeah. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So the next one we have, uh, a very refreshing um, drink called the BVI Mango Cooler. And now the key ingredients in this drink is the BVI Gin, of course, uh, Mango Nectar, Fever Tree Tonic, uh, preferably light, Star Anise, Fresh Mint, and then Ice. And, and so the stirring cocktail or a shaking cocktail? This is going to be a stirring cocktail. So we're going to serve this in a highball glass or something similar sized. Uh, we're going to add 60 mils of BVI gin uh, to the glass. 30 mils of the mango nectar. Just after that, we're going to get in a sprig of bruised mint. And we're going to stir that up with a spoon, with a bar spoon. And then top up with ice if we could, please. Sorry, and the name of this one? This one is the BVI Mango Cooler. Thank you. I was too busy drinking last time. <laughs> uh, after the ice, we're then going to add half of a star anise. Definitely haven't had that in a cocktail before. Yeah. Or a full one, <laughs> for like the third or thing in. Yeah. Uh, we're going to top off with approximately 120 mils of the, uh, the light tonic water. 120 of the light. Just casually open it with your ring. <laughs> we're going to stir with a bar spoon again. And then once we've done that, we're going to garnish with our mango and the mint sprig, um, just to create a nice little... Uh, Provision on the top there as well. So the mango and the sprig. No chorus when we do our response for that, right? Yeah, don't worry. So, guys, in your thoughts on the first one, you enjoyed? Very much I guess so. you were too busy uh, drinking to listen to what the <laughs> name of the second was, so you yeah, definitely. Exactly. Uh, <coughs> guys, just to fill in some time as well. So, what you guys are actually playing for with the cocktail. Um, the, the winner's actually going to be receiving two bottles of the classic BVI gin, two bottles of the hibiscus and raspberry gin. We also have these very pretty bar towels, which we've just received from um, a Nutmeg with Annie McPhail. You can actually purchase those now there. Uh, along with two, two, two packs of um, Fever Tree Tonics. Uh, then the runner-up will actually be, oh, sorry, and some uh, BVI gin coasters. The one will then also receive one bottle of each of the BVI gin and some coasters as well. How is this one coming along? It's making me very thirsty over here. Can you do it again? Perfect. Okay, if we could just do a fast version. I'm just going to pop that there alongside the other one. Don't stress, oh, don't stress too much about the microphone. Oh, sorry. <coughs> I love that we've got the disco balls in here today as well, guys, to really get into the party vibe on a Tuesday <laughs> afternoon. Really getting things going. Okay, 
Casper's just making up the samples now for the guys to taste. So the guys, uh, you all finished up there? Are you happy? Yes. Yep. Uh, shake it as well, please, yes. And so for the next one, we have the, the Tortola meal. So a nice uh, twist on the classic meal here. Um, so this one's actually going to be served in a low ball glass with crushed ice, which we have just here. I'm going to fill this one with okay. ice. And then, once we have that going, we're going to add two ounces of the BVI gin. Shortly after, we're going to add one wedge of lime. We're then going to squeeze the lime into the drink, and we're actually just going to let it uh, sit in the glass uh, once it's been squeezed over the glass. See, Casper's a perfectionist here, guys. <laughs> Not cutting any corners. One squeeze of lime and jump. And drop in the glass. We're then going to top with ginger beer, which we have just here. Again, fever tree. Uh, we're going to then uh, finely grate some ginger over the top of, uh, uh, into the top of the drink. Sorry. So lots of nice, powerful flavors coming through here as well. And then the next step is one shake of ground cinnamon. And gently stir if you could, please. So in addition to this, um, the next kind of step would be to make uh, a kind of a large spear of the ginger to use as a, um, a kind of stirring stick. Uh, so we're just going to make that up now. And we do have a, an additional note that, just in, uh, sorry, alternative, alternatively to the, um, the ginger spear, we could also just use a cinnamon stick. So we can just use that to really mix up the drink as well and um, serve it up. So if we can get that one on there as well. Sorry, excuse my fingers. And there you have it, the Tortola Mule. So guys, we'll just give you a second to, uh, if there's any parts in there you can fill in whilst we just make you up a, a small sample of the, of the meal. Are you guys generally a, a, a kind of meal fan or...? Uh, and, and as far, as far as I'm concerned, I'm, n I'm normally a beer person, okay. but, um, oh, wow. but, really but actually, beer. actually, if, if, if I had to drink a, a stronger drink, it would be a gin, so, uh, and I really like your product, to be honest. So. That's very kind of you. And, no, <laughs> it's true, and I do like ginger, so I'm, I'm excited about this one. Good combo. Looks very pretty as well with the cinnamon on top. I'm very excited. Aww, Alistair. <laughs> Someone gets the big ones at the end. Traditionally vodka, yes. Until you come to the BVI, then it must be served with BVI. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely necessary. There you go. 
Thank there you. we go. I did forget, unfortunately. I'm sorry, oh, this meant yeah. to be just a slice <laughs> of orange, um, just the, the, the orange peel as well that we're meant to drop into the. We'll cinnamon. pop that one in the, the front so you can just see it. Wow. Um, so which is actually meant to be flame, but again, uh, uh, for purposes of being in the room, it's probably not the best of ideas. The beautiful set they've taken here to make some time, I don't want to. I want to be burning that down. So we'll just switch over to the next. <coughs> How was that for you guys? Did you enjoy? Yeah, very good. That yeah. Is, um, ginger in there is just delicious. Yep. <coughs> And the cinnamon actually is surprisingly. Yeah. When he comes through? Yeah. <coughs> that looks pretty. So the next one we have on our list is the cucumber ting. There's a nice play on words here. Um, so the instructions um, on this one, we're just going to chill the martini glass first. Always a very important part of the making of the drink. We're then going to cut up 0.5 ounces of the cucumber and gently muddle. Um, into the shaker. Yeah. We should have some music in the background here to really get things going. <laughs> Could we get someone to sing? Is Amy still around? Could she sing for us? All right, after the modeling. Uh, so once we're going to add some ice to the shaker then, if we could. We're then just going to... Oh, the next words are... Oh no, sorry, add the BVI gin, and then we have a very important roll next, which is, I have to say it in the way it's been uh, sent to me. The next day, step is to shake that baby up. Mm, Let's get that going. That sounds like a big boy shake. <coughs> you shake so hard, it's all done. Well done. <laughs> so then we're just gonna empty the glass. Uh, the next step is actually, to, so this has a, um, uh, it's rim with the tagine spice. Uh, so for those who don't know what the tagine spice is, I think I'm uh, pronouncing it the right way. Uh, you have a tablespoon, oh, sorry, it's paprika, red pepper, lime zest, half a teaspoon of ground cumin. We also have garlic powder, onion powder, ground coriander, basically anything you have left in the cupboard, just throw it all in there and you're going to come out with this. Wow. Um, so that's just a kind of garnish the martini glass there. Uh, the next step is we're going to strain uh, what we have into the martini glass, if we could. And we're just going to add an ice cube to the, the martini glass. We're then going to top the martini glass with some of the pink ting. And we're going to garnish with the cucumber peel. Uh, alongside some dehydrated grapefruit, which is always great for presentation. Uh, some extra notes on here, we've actually um, been asked if they could be, that this would be presented on a nice wooden board um, with some torched fresh rosemary. Again, we don't want to go uh, too crazy in here with torching things, so if we could just leave that to your imagination if we could. <coughs> so no rosemary in this one, we're going to go with a little uh, hydrated grapefruit, dehydrated grapefruit. Beautiful. So a very fancy drink once again. Mm -hmm. Do we have enough in there? Can we just make up the guys a little sample here as well. So a very nice, classy looking drink for you guys to serve up on board uh, for your for your guests. Thank you. <laughs> Mm. I have a tiny 
I need to lift the spicy stuff on the Sorry, on the rim, just to get the full experience. I feel like that would change it. Am I? Tash doesn't want to miss out on a thing Sorry. over there. I feel like that's quite key to the... It, yeah. it, it does have a very big kick to okay. it, so... Okay, that's... Don't be shocked. Would you like those ones? No, no, I'm just enjoying this, actually. <laughs> it's like it's smoke for me. <laughs> no, it smells delicious. Yeah, no, it's... A what are your thoughts? What flavours? Are you getting the flavours come through, or...? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cucumber, which is a classic, but a little bit of spice. Okay, are you guys ready? Yep. All set? Okay, uh, the next one we actually have is the Caribbean Tom Collins. So the recipe stated here is two dashes of Angus Angostura, uh, um, excuse me, Angostura bitters. Get those in. Uh, we have four ounces of fever tree soda water, half uh, of a fresh lemon juice, sorry, uh, half ounce organic simple syrup and 1.5 ounces of BVI gin. So it just says here for the instructions to add the lemon juice, the syrup, the bitters and the gin all together into the tall glass with ice. Organic simple syrup. Perfect. Then we're just going to add some of the ice to that. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm very thirsty over here. Quite envious of you two being the only ones. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. Absolutely enjoying it. Yeah, the, the perfect spot in the house over there. <laughs> May never leave, so Casper, if we can just continue on that. <laughs> <laughs> we can start a party. And then we're just going to top off with the, the uh, fever tree soda water here as well, with a sprig of rice, uh, rosemary. Sorry. So, this is. Oh. Oh, you need this in here? Or you need a new shaker? Sorry, we just have the other shaker coming in here to try the, for the sample of it. It's nice, guys. I just wanted to say as well, so that all the entries have actually been very different. Um, so they've allowed us, well, Casper, to make all these different kind of really pretty looking drinks, which um, I'm really glad we were able to have here to display today for you guys. Some great new ideas as well. So, yep, some yeah. great new ideas. I'm definitely taking some of these home myself, actually. I think I have a good idea of what I'm going to be doing on Saturday. <laughs> we're taking all the leftovers home. And <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll certainly be make, taking these ideas. They'll probably go in my fridge and I'll try one every now and again for sure. Are we still looking okay for time? I know we're, are we okay? Yeah, we've got loads of time, Josh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm keep, sure keep you coming. Yeah. Yeah. There's no time. rush here. So different and original. It's uh, <laughs> it's really different. You guys are really spoiled. What's usually in a Tom Collins? Oh, classic. Where you got some lime, some sugar, the basic stuff. Um, 
the original classic is vodka, but you know, today it's very yeah. high gin, so mm. okay. it's vodka. So like Bavia simple gin. syrup. Yeah, it's the old school basic. Some sugar, lime, and spirit. I don't think I've ever had one before. Very, very refreshing oh, drink. Great. <coughs> okay. Okay, so the next drink. Um, again, another nice plain words here. So we have, it's a BVI ting. Uh, so the key ingredients for this one is the juice of a grapefruit, half of, half of a grapefruit actually, uh, hand squeezed, may I add. Uh, we're then going to have 60 millilitres of BVI gin, uh, a shot of, uh, sorry, half a shot or 50 millilitres of Saint Germain, fever tree elderflower tonic and ice. Uh, and then with the garnishes, we have dehydrated grapefruit and, fre and a fresh rosemary sprig. So the kind of method for this one is to place your grapefruit juice, your gin, and some ice into the shaker. Which we have Casper making up here. Wow, that's a beautiful, uh, beautiful pink grapefruit. Take that. <laughs> then we're going to add the gin. Uh, we're going to for 60 milliliters of the gin if we could. Along with some ice, we're going to add to that. We've also then just been asked to add just a couple of the leaves on the ends of the sprig of the rosemary if we could into the actual shaker as well. And then once we have that all together, we're going to Give it a nice vigorous shake. The next steps, yep, oh, we'll leave it to oh, that's coming up. Uh, then in a whiskey tumbler or the low ball glass we have here, uh, we're going to fill half with ice. Along with, uh, we're then going to pour the Saint Germain over the top, which is 15 milliliters if you could. Uh, and then we're going to strain the contents of the shaker into the glass. Oh, you need a string. You need a string. No, no, it's okay. I'll use this. And then once that's in nicely looking pretty, uh, we're then just going to top with the Fever Tree Elderflower Tonic. She's my second bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Looks lovely going lovely there. Color. Yeah. And then just after that, so yeah, we've really got that nice kind of pink, the nice pink. Uh, pale pink colour coming through there. Then we're just going to top off with the tonic water, if we could. And then again, unfortunately, one thing we can't do with this one, which uh, has been stated, so I'd just like to let you know, and can, you can kind of use your imagination, as I said. Uh, we have been asked to then, holding the rosemary sprig upside down, uh, if you burn if, until uh, they're smouldering, um, and then basically just put out the end with your fingers, state it here, careful not to burn yourself. Uh, and then we're just going to place the, the rosemary sprig into the grapefruit. Um, so something along this, um, but the, yeah, fantastic job with the, it's a BVI ting right there. And so we'll just make up a little for the guys to try. And we'll just have one more left after this one, but we'll leave you guys have um, enjoy it while you can just over there. Thank you. Thank you for putting the And this is that's what this is. Yeah. What's that? This 
love elderflower. Yeah, really good. You're a big fan of elderflower myself yeah, yeah. too, actually. Yeah, very, very good. enjoying my job a lot more. <laughs> That's great. So as I said, just the last one coming up now, guys. Um, quite a creative name on this one again. Uh, it's actually called the, the Pelican Passion Fruit uh, Potion. And this one has been said, a refreshing drink after a snorkel at the Pelican Islands and the Indians. <laughs> The potion comes in two parts in one, and is perfect for guests to enjoy. Uh, sorry, perfect for the guests to interact with their drink uh, and get everybody talking about BVI gin. Uh, so the key ingredients of this one is um, we have the BVI gin, uh, 50 mils. If you'd like to get it ready, uh, we have two passion fruits, a tablespoon of caster sugar, um, 20 milliliters of lime, uh, fresh lime, and then the tonic water. Garnishes: ice, mint, and sliced lime. So how to make this drink? So we're going to slice all the passion fruits in half to begin with. It's a bit more of a technical this one, so you may want to take um, a close eye on this and how, how we're going to make this one. So we, as I said, slice all of the passion fruits in half. If we just do one more so that extra one then can be for the guys to taste it. Uh, we're then going to uh, equally split the contents of the passion fruits into the two little containers that we have just there. just hearing about a gin cocktail with passion fruit where you actually um, <coughs> you freeze the passion fruit and put that in as uh, ice cubes in, in a yeah. <coughs> more fruit than I normally eat in a week though <laughs> <laughs> and then we're just going to keep the skins as well because you'll see that they come in um, as a vital stage just afterwards right. um, sounds like a complex one yes this is a little more complex for sure but also something, as the guy said, much more interactive, something you could play with a little, have a bit of fun on board. Um, so we'll keep, yeah, just keep the skins afterwards. Um, we're then going to add, sorry, so just in one of the containers, we're going to add the BVI gin, if we could, uh, 25 mils of the BVI gin. Just half of the shot, it'll be fine. Uh, we're then just going to mix that up together and then set to one side. We're then going to place the remaining 25 milliliters of the BVI gin, BVI gin and the lime juice and caster sugar into a cocktail shaker filled with ice. Let's get some ice for you. So cocktail shaker. So we're going to take the, the rest of the gin, so another half a shot of gin. Uh, the lime juice. Some fresh lime. and also the caster sugar as well. So we're just gonna go with one tablespoon of the caster sugar, which is just here. Thank you. Uh, and then we're just gonna shake all that together very nicely. A capital shake, actually, with a few exclamation marks, so a big shake. <laughs> stage is to prepare the glass. Uh, so we've been asked to fill the glass with ice and the garnishes, um, which is the, the mint leaves and the lime slices. Finely, finely cut lime slices. Uh, and then we're just going to pour, so that the one small container that we did not add the gin to, we're just going to pour that over the ice as well. So the one just here, we're going to pour into the ice. 
uh, just allowing it to drizzle over the ice. We're then going to strain the shaker um, of the, the gin and the lime juice into the glass. And then we're just going to top it off with some nice fever tree um, tonic as well. It's really creating something special there. I think the judges might have to taste this one from here. <laughs> you don't want to do that again. <laughs> Uh, once we've done that, we're going to pour the passion fruit um, mix that has been mixed with the gin into the, one of the skins of the passion fruit. Um, so if we just get one of those in there. And now I was requested to actually, the next stage, use uh, a small piece of bamboo that would obviously fit the diameter of the glass. But for the purpose of this, we're just going to use um, a skewer. Oh, okay, it actually rests on there because we've got lots of drink in here for Tash and Miles. <laughs> Uh, and then, yeah, so this drink can then be served in two different ways. So you can actually just take the shot and then enjoy your drink, or you can actually pour this shot in if you would like and use it as, um, as a kind of long, stronger drink. So that is the... And that's, that's the, the end of the cocktail, sorry. Um, the name of that one, once again, really was called the Pelican Passion Fruit Potion. <coughs> and that's the last one. So you just hit this one, what's in this one? I'm going to use this little bit. Um, this is the shot. Okay. So that's great. I have that one that I could actually refill this with. And then we're just going to make up the two small samplers then as well for you guys to try over there. Wow, these cocktails really do look very fancy, don't they? Sorry, could you just remind us again of the kind of criteria that you're judging the drinks on? What were the four? <coughs> were there four different? There's uh, appearance and presentation, which, which I must say is unbelievable and well done to the bartender here. Yeah. Um, taste. Okay. And then creativity and use of local ingredients, particularly BVI gin. Perfect. <coughs> Can you tell me a bit about BVI gin? Actually? Yeah, so the gin, um, basically we're a small batch craft gin distilled right here on the island of Tortola. Uh, so the gin is distilled, bottled and labelled all here actually in Little Bay, so on the east side of the island. Uh, we currently have two different flavours of the gin, so we originally rolled out uh, back in, we actually saw the first bottle of the gin September 10th of 2018. Uh, so the, the classic, uh, very much a nice London dry gin, has some nice citrus profiles come through from the grapefruit and the lemon distilled in the gin. Uh, then a little while after, uh, we introduced the pink gin. So the pink gin uh, is actually infused with hibiscus and raspberry, so you get a much more kind of fruity flavour there as well. But uh, both great gins are very light and refreshing that you can really play with, as you can see, to make up some nice cocktails as well. Yeah. And the bottle, uh, for those who may or may not know a great deal about the gin, if you actually, I'm not sure if you can get close into the bottle at all, but uh, the bottle actually has a nice map of the BVI in the back. Um, so it's a almost a great little uh, thing it to have on board as well. It's, no, really, uh, it's uh, truly an authentic BVI product. So. And, and brilliant presents for family and things. I've, yeah, I've, yeah, I've been using them for yeah. that, certainly. Okay. I've taken a lot of those in my um, suitcase with me when traveling. You have taken them back? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Always appreciated. When we used to travel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Back in those days. Yeah. Seems like a lifetime ago, right? So that will be us coming up to a close um, now. Casper's just finishing off that last one for the guys to, to score on the tasting part of this. Um, Thank, you. Thank you so much. And this will be the show. Oh, you're not have that one. Okay. <laughs> it can't fit and the thank time. you guys for joining us as well.